The flags are back up in the Civil War section of Cedar Park Cemetery in Hudson. After some local veterans saw our report here on CBS 6, they made it their mission to restore the honor and dignity of those who lost their lives keeping this country free. It's not surprising to see veterans putting up flags on the graves of fallen comrades for the 4th of July, but these vets are having to do it for a second time here at Cedar Park Cemetery. On Saturday, vandals made off of 35 flags that decorated the final resting place of Civil War soldiers. Dan Shaughnessy was the Flag Day chairman with the Hudson Elks Lodge, and he saw our report on the damage and jumped into action. So my wife and I uh, got in a car and came up to the cemetery and see if the flags had been replaced, and they hadn't. So we put the flags in the holders so all our veterans would have flags again. The vandalism really stuck in the craw of groundskeeper Vince Wallace, in part because this is the third time it's happened just before a national holiday. We're going to uh, offer a reward of uh, about 500 bucks for the arrest and conviction of the dirtbag that did this. We want him caught as a deterrent for anyone else who has uh, such thoughts. Police are inclined to believe it's kids, but they say they have no leads. It, it appears to be uh, some minors might have done this uh, because it is limited to the flags and uh, thank God nothing's done with the uh, headstones or anything else. There are plans now to secure the cemetery so that the dead can rest in peace and the guilty can be brought to justice. They have no regard for uh, what has gone on before and what made this country what it is. Well, the forecast for tomorrow may call for thunderstorms, but the weather is unlikely to stop at least one 4th of July tradition. Price Chopper prepping for its 38th annual 4th of July celebration at the Empire State Plaza in Albany. Alonzo Fireworks began setting up racks for nearly 10,000 fireworks this afternoon. For the first time this year, the show will be operated entirely by computer. The show's organizers were tight-lipped on what new additions this year's show will feature, but they offered a few clues. There will be some new shells shot into the sky, different colors and shapes, but they are a surprise and will be seen when they actually uh, let a rip up there in the beautiful sky above this Empire State Plaza. Like always, we're going to give you guys one heck of a show. And they usually deliver. The show is set to begin at 9 tomorrow night. While rain is not likely to impact the show, officials warn that the dry season might pose a danger for those who plan on putting on their own fireworks shows at home. We'll have more on that tonight at 6. And Steve is standing by now with a first look at that all-important 4th of July forecast. And certainly was nice today, but if things change, we just want to get those uh, rockets in the air safely, Steve, tomorrow night. Right. Well, we'll start with this evening, and we're in great shape this evening. Clouds are rolling in, so there's no doubt about that. But these clouds will not be producing rainfall through the evening hours. It stays warm and dry, 80 degrees by 8 o'clock. Overnight tonight, especially after midnight, I do expect we will see a round of downpours and thunderstorms. Could be a pretty good light show in some communities very late tonight with some of these storms. Frequent lightning and locally heavy rain. Now, unfortunately, the heavy rain isn't going to hit all communities. Some spots are going to get a good chunk of rain. Other spots probably aren't going to get that much, and that's just how it goes with showers and thunderstorms. 65 for the low. The humidity will start to come up. I still think through the morning tomorrow will be our best chance for showers and storms. The main batch will be moving out early. There could be a few additional ones cropping up late morning through about maybe noontime, 1 o'clock, and then a drying trend through the afternoon. So I am pretty optimistic that by evening there won't be anything left, and that means the fireworks displays in terms of having no rain will be in great shape. It will turn hot and humid as the sun comes out after the morning clouds. I'm looking at high temperatures tomorrow near 90 degrees with dew points well into the 60s.